Hello, my name is Jacob. I'm here at Gentleman Rogues. I get a haircut with Matt. Well done. Today, you want... Arthur Shelby. Arthur Shelby from Peaky Blinders. Yeah. That style. So we're going to go in nice and sharp on the sides. We're going to cut it around from the temple down to the... I'm, I'm tempted to take it up a little bit higher at the back because you normally have it quite long through the back. So to make it look a bit different, we'll do that, all right? Yeah, cool. Because you're used to just pomading it back anyway. So we'll do that. Cool. Let's do it. How, he, he broke it playing football, didn't you? It's football. Sunday league. Uh, yeah, no, it's five sides. Or as they, as they say in America, soccer. Or I, I was doing it playing soccer, <laughs> full ball, <laughs> with Gary Lineacre. <laughs> <laughs> they don't say Gary Lineker, do they? They don't say Gary Lineker, it's, it's Gary Lineker. Play for Bournemouth. 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 I'm going to say every single letter that's in the word. Okay, so I've just sectioned off the top and uh, we're going to go in really nice and tight. Oosh. Let's do this. Let's do this. So uh, I'm just going in with a, a clipper guard number two, or the six millimeter. Uh, only reason really is just to take away a little bit of the, um, little bit of the weight, take away a little bit of the length. It's quite a lot of hair here. The last haircut um, Jacob had was about six weeks ago, five, yeah. And we were, we were sort of growing it out then, weren't we? Yeah. Because you were, you were thinking about keeping it longer, so I scissor cut it, didn't I, last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go a little bit higher than we normally go. I normally would stop at the temple, but this is a slightly different look. What you've got to remember is the Peaky Blinders series on TV, on the BBC, is based around the 1920s. So we're talking about just after the First World War. So a 1920s haircut isn't the same as the sort of haircuts that we would have been doing with the fades. These are a little bit of stronger haircuts. Um, also like the film Fury around that time, those sorts of haircuts, but really the late 1920s, the guys were having really, really strong work on the back and sides. Principally the idea behind it was like, obviously it, you know, when you're in the second world, in the first world war, uh, you had the shorter hair to stop you from getting lice and and obviously it kept you cleaner for longer so you basically shaved the t you shaved the back and sides off and you had a little bit of hair on top just to stop your your tin helmet from hurting your head and that was literally it so I'm going to go in quite tight through the sides So it's a zero guard, just slightly opened. So we're taking our little brush so we can just clean up all the little bits of hair. So we can see where we're going. This is intentionally a strong haircut. Hey, <clears throat> intentionally looks disconnected as well from the top. So we're coming up to the center of the haircut. I'm just leaving myself a little bit of a gap here. So I'm gonna, I wanna blend that just slightly just to give it a slightly softer edge on the, on the back. Then we'll come around on the sides. We might foil the sides just a little bit. If that's all right with you, Jacob. Foil it, yeah? Just so it's really short. So I think we'll do that. Just get some talc. So I'm just applying a little bit of talc just to the area that I wanna 
use the foils on. So it just stops irritating the skin. Because with the foils, they run really quick. The foils run really quick. And sometimes it can just irritate the skin a little bit. So by putting a little bit of talc on there, it just softens the area for Jacob, makes it a little bit more comfortable. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Does it feel nice? Is it vibrating through your, down into your willy? Good. And again, I'm going short, so this is another week that you don't need another haircut. This thrifty. is, this is the thr thr thriftiest haircut I've given anybody. This is literally going to last you until next summer, if, you, if that's what you want. So I'm not going right up to the top, I'm just tapering it out to the bottom. Soften it around the edges, just, so it gives, just gives it that final finish. So we'll go through on the top. And all I'm going to do is just lighten the top up a little bit with, um, with, with, the, with the cutthroat. So I'm just going to take sections just on the very end. Because I want the ends just to feel a little bit lighter. So we're just going to slick it back, give it a bit of direction. Just drying that in a little bit. Right, let's put some pomade in. Haircut on finance. <laughs> <laughs> Dave say that. <laughs> oh, was he? So you've got that slight overhang as well, yeah, like yeah, just hanging yeah. down from the back. Beardbrand is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.